Hello everyone, Keyaway with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Supreme Leader Kylo versus Jedi Master Kenobi with his ultimate. There is one battle in here with, that has a Kenobi without the ultimate. Uh, I wanted to find something. Uh, one of my subscribers wanted to know if Supreme Leader Kylo could work um, for Arena. Um, I have been using this and it's worked really well. Probably about... I would say about 80% win rate, right around in there. Um, so far with this lineup with Hux and Thrawn, this is um, by far the, the best lineup um, that I found. I haven't lost yet with it, um, but I've also been using it for just uh, a few days. Um, the whole goal of this is to just get Supreme Leader Kylo into his ultimate as soon as possible. So Hux and Thrawn can feed uh, Supreme Leader Kylo uh, turns uh, um, that way he can do his AOE, clear the buffs, and um, and get to his ultimate as soon as possible. Once you get to his ultimate, then it's uh, it's been a win every single time. Um, Doc and Zombie are here just to annoy the opposition <laughs> because uh, a lot of times AI is not the smartest and they'll focus on uh, Zombie. And Daka can, as you saw just a little bit ago, Daka can revive as well. So even when uh, the other two, you know, if Hux and Thrawn get taken out, uh, Daka can bring him, can bring him back. I can't remember if it's in this battle, but uh, I think Daka ends up bringing them back again. There they go. <laughs> They're both back. Uh, also, what I found is it's, um, there's been, I think. A couple times where I lost just because I was being too cute like here there was a couple times where like no I'm gonna wait to see get more of my ultimate trying to get to 100% um, sometimes you got to go into your ultimate at 60% um, it just you got to just kind of get a feel for where you're at how many times has DACA uh, died um, you know where zombie or um, not zombie but uh, and here we go. We got we got Hux back. Um, so it's uh, it's been a, a fun team to play around with. Uh, for the most part, this is more of a squad arena team. For those that don't have C, C is the by far been the best, um, at least for me against uh, Jedi Master Kenobi. Uh, the it's been C plus uh, the Sith Empire with Darth Revan. Uh, I can't think of I don't think I've ever lost with that lineup. Um, against Jedi Master Kenobi, but uh, there's going to be some battles with with teams that you might see, like this one's with Jedi Knight Revan. Usually you don't see that, so like it's unfortunate with this. Um, he, you know, he direct focuses <laughs> Daka, but uh, most of the time you don't have to worry about Jedi Knight Revan um, in this uh, lineup. Uh, there will be a couple of different lineups I try in here, like this one. I wanted to try Red just because he has an AOE. And I figured that uh, that could be another opportunity to um, build up a, a Supreme Leader Kylo's ultimate ability, because uh, really it's just a it's really just a race to see how fast you can, can get there. Uh, for those that have Hux, it might that are that has Hux kind of fast. It might be better. My Hux is only just to give you an idea of the. The mods, I don't have amazing mods. I do have Daka. I think she's only Relic 5. Um, she has a health on the triangle and on the... And it is... Um, the triangle, the cross, and the circle are all health. Um, they are 6E. And then I have a crit avoidance arrow um, on her. Zombie, I don't think I have any 6E mods. It's just all defense set. All, everything, every single one is just a defense set. Not great mods on Zombie. Hux, I have him about 250 speed. Not very fast. Thrawn is just like maybe 301, 302 speed. So not blazing fast either. So I don't really have amazing speed on the other characters. Supreme Leader Kylo is 2... Or I mean 2. 574. Um, so not too... Uh, speed wise, he's, he's pretty decent. Uh... I think uh, most of the time, if you're in the 570s with your Supreme Leader Kylo, you're probably going to go before Jedi Master Kenobi. 
Uh, there's a chance you might not. I mean, some people just went all out speed on Jedi Master Kenobi and uh, just want him as fast as, as fast as they can go. I don't think it really is relevant um, against Supreme Leader Kylo, but uh, that, that is something you might come across. Uh, so that's basically the gist of it. Uh, it's been fun using it. Uh, I did do a battle today, unfortunately. Uh, silly me, I didn't record it with uh, Jedi Master Kenobi and the Bad Batch against uh, Supreme Leader Kylo. It actually seemed to go a little easier against the Bad Batch. Um, just because you don't have to worry about gas or... Um, and then you don't have to worry about Ahsoka always coming in with multiple hits. Uh, Bad Batch is pretty much just a uh, single fire for the most part. Um, so it seemed like it was, it seemed easier. You don't have to worry about Cam doing his thing and inflicting armor shred. So uh, Supreme Leader Kylo against the Bad Batch with this, uh, this Supreme Leader Kylo lineup um, shouldn't be a problem. Might even work pretty well in a GAC. And if, you know, this, you can use this in GAC, I, I would probably use something else. Um, as far as banner wise um but you know i guess it, i don't know i guess you could use in gac even with cu it's probably just gonna come down to um just c and malik most at least most of the time that i've done the battle it's just like c and malik standing um sometimes i have one other character and this one is gonna usually just be most of the time it's gonna be just supreme leader kylo but sometimes it's supreme leader kylo with doc and zombie and whoever she might bring back so I might have to backtrack on <laughs> what I said about GAC. This might work okay in GAC. Uh, it all depends on uh, how things go with uh, the revives with uh, with DACA and obviously who uh, who the team targets. But against, uh, like I said, against the Bad Batch, I think uh, this would be pretty solid. Um, the rest of the video is just going to be more battles uh, against different Jedi Master Kenobi lineups. Um... But that is basically it. Get Supreme Leader Kylo to his ultimate as uh, quick as possible. And the higher you're into his ultimate ability you can go, obviously the better it is. But uh, just be leery of if you wait too long, uh, it, might, it might cost you. <laughs> as it's done me. There they go. They're going after Daka. Um, obviously, if you can mod this team... Um, even better than what I have. I think it would even perform even better. Uh, like if I put more time and probably speed maybe onto Daka, because she's not that fast either. Uh, and then had better 6E mods on, on Zombie. But you know, with Zombie, uh, when Jedi Master Kenobi gets into his ultimate, then it doesn't really matter if Zombie's taunting. But against uh, Jedi Master Kenobis that don't have um, their ultimate, uh, as you'll see in the battle, the one battle that's in here, they're just kind of forced to go over and over and over again after zombie. Um, and, and it's a pretty easy battle. All right, here we go. Poke. Goodbye. Kenobi's going to try to do his best. Uh-oh. But luckily, he doesn't like put out over, like, over overwhelming damage. <laughs> Thank goodness. Otherwise, uh, this would be a lot tougher. But there we go. Tap, tap. Goodbye. And there you have it. I mean, have, the rest of these battles are just going to be on super speed. Um, obviously, if you want to slow them down, you can. But uh, this is one with uh, Red again. This one I tried Thrawn instead of Hux. Uh, just trying different things. Just wanted to see if I could get to Fracture. Sometimes I get to Fracture. There's been battles I didn't record um, where I've been able to, to Fracture and make things uh, easier also. But uh, I do like the Thrawn, Thrawn Hux thing. All right, everyone have a fantastic day. Hopefully this can help you out in Arena and maybe in GAC. Who knows? I will talk to you later. Kiwi out.